Hello. Today I'm here to talk to you about harmonics and overtones. Harmonics are standing wave patterns that are only created within an object or instrument at specific frequencies of vibration. Now the first frequency that you should know about is the fundamental frequency, which is the lowest pitch of an object can make. It is also called the first harmonic. Now there are lots of other harmonics like overtones, which is any frequency higher than the fundamental frequency. And those are shown down here. You see here you have your fundamental frequency, and all of these are different harmonics, but they are also overtones. Now to change a harmonic, you change it by adding nodes. So you see here you only have these two nodes. And to get to the next harmonic, you now have three because you added a node right here. And so to determine a harmonic frequency, you first you got to look at the length of your string, which is right here. And you have to know that your wavelength is equal to two times the length of the string if you're thinking about it like a guitar. So here's your length of the string and this is it's doubled for your wavelength now as most of you should know by now speed is equal to the frequency times the wavelength now you use you find this because your speed for your frequency for your harmonic frequency will always stay the same because it is the same medium or it's the same string and once you find the speed, then you're going to want to rearrange the equation so you can use it later to find the different frequencies for your different uh, harmonics. So when you rearrange it, you're going to derive frequency is equal to the speed divided by the wavelength. Now, I've prepared a little example here. So if you have a one meter long guitar string and your fundamental frequency is 200 Hertz you will plug it in so your wavelength is equal to two times the length of the guitar string and you find that it's two meters so then you do your normal equation speed is equal to the frequency up here times the wavelength your speed comes out to be 400 meters per second. So then, when you're trying to find the second harmonic, which would basically be trying to find this one right here, you would look at, you would change it to this equation to find it, and you would see that your second frequency, so this frequency, is equal to 400 meters per second, which is your original speed, and that can't change because it's the same medium, times, you're divided by the wavelength, which, if you may have noticed, I have cut in half from its original 2 meters is now 1 meter, because as you see I added a node, and that cuts the wavelength to being only 1 meter instead of the original 2 meters from the fundamental harmonic. And when you divide 400 meters per second by 1, it gives you your second frequency of 400 hertz. And I've prepared, I found a couple easier ways to do it instead of having to go through that to find each harmonic. Now, if you look at this, this is your, it's your frequency for whatever number right here. So, if it is your third frequency and so if you put a 3 in for here because this is the number frequency it is if you put a 3 in for here you multiply it 3 by your original frequency which is 200 Hertz so for the third harmonic you multiply 3 times your original 200 and that gives you 300 Hertz which is the frequency of your third harmonic now if you're trying to find the wavelength, 
then you'll use this equation, which your wavelength for this specific harmonic will be 1 divided by whatever number harmonic we'll use uh, we'll use 4 this time. So if you have 1 over your fourth harmonic, so you'll put a 4 in here, and you'll multiply it by your original wavelength. So if you have 1 over 4, and you multiply it by your original wavelength, 2 meters, that's going to give you 0 0.5 meters in for your wavelength here, as compared to your original 2 meters up there. And that is how you find harmonics.